Brigadier General C. David Turner has 30 plus years of leading U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and civilian personnel in times of peace and war. He administers multi-billion dollar budgets. He was serving at the Pentagon on September 11, 2001, when a hijacked jetliner crashed less than 100 feet from his location. Outstanding leadership skills have carried him to the pinnacle of his profession. His life, living proof of the impact family, education, community, and faith can make. My mom and dad uh, generally got up every morning and went to work at 5 o'clock uh, together because my mother didn't drive. And, you know, it's just that commitment to hard work, that example that I saw on a daily basis really encouraged and inspired me to achieve uh, what I've achieved today. Turner's parents, Lafayette and Rosemary, did not have high school diplomas, but they emphasized the importance of education to their children. His mother attended a segregated school and shared her experiences with young David. Turner's grandmother, Mercy Portis, was also a central figure in his life. One of the smartest people he ever knew, Turner says she loved education and was respected as the family's matriarch. I live about five blocks from my grandmother, who was like my Yoda. I mean, she, she taught me about life. I mean, she was very knowledgeable, uh, one of my heroes. Other mentors were also key contributors to Turner. As a Boy Scout, under the tutelage of his Scoutmaster, Mr. O'Neill, he developed outstanding leadership skills. I mean, I held every leadership position you could have in Scouts. And what was unique about that is I was like one or two African-Americans in like a 200 plus Scout troop. And, and, and so, you know, being a senior patrol leader really taught me how to lead across cultures and, and, and understand people and how, you know, we're really not different. You know, my mother always told me once I'm in the Eagle Scout, she said, you know, there's nothing you can't accomplish. So just, just go for it. And I've always remembered that. And it's that example they set for me that was so, so important. Scouting also played a part in his college selection when he asked his scout camp roommate where he was going to school. So I said, hey, you know, Jim, where are you going to school? And he goes, well, I'm going to Central Missouri State University. I mean, I immediately had a flashback uh, when I was a junior in high school. We took a band trip up there and I was kind of impressed. Turner considers the decision one of the best of his life. It would lead him into the Army ROTC program and a bachelor's degree in mathematics. And Dr. Uh, Alvin Tinsley was my uh, professor. It really inspired me. And he just had this unique way of connecting uh, to the students. He had this caring attitude. Dr. Cooper, who I think is still there today, I needed to graduate. I had to have a special project, you know. And so he said, hey, you can you know, solve this. And so he gave me this Rubik's Cube and he had me write a equation for this Rubik's Cube. And so every once in a while, you know, I would get stuck. I would go by and talk to him and he would just, you know, share some techniques. His patience was phenomenal. Central Missouri provided great lessons in the classroom and leadership opportunities in the Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity. It was also the meeting place for Turner and his future wife, Marsha. He graduated from UCM in 1984 having been previously commissioned as a second lieutenant in the U.S. Army in 1982. While the medals and awards on his uniform indicate achievements of the highest order, General Turner defers the credit. I'm a uh, veteran of Desert Shield, Desert Storm, uh, Iraqi Freedom, Enduring Freedom. Uh, also had a tour in Bosnia. You know, these medals that I have are really a reflection of those that have served with me. You know, none of these medals were earned on my own. So it just reminds me of who I serve with when I look at it. As a commander in the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Turner, like the many mentors in his life, believes in being a caring leader to his military and civilian personnel. He now works in the Corps' South Atlantic Division, having recently completed an assignment in the South Pacific Division. Here we manage a $1.5 billion program across not only the military enterprise, but civil works and emergency disaster response as well. From the minute I met Dave, I knew he was a terrific guy. He displays all the Army values of loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. He also understands that his role in, in creating and fostering an atmosphere that encourages creativity and critical thinking and brings out the potential of the workforce, he doesn't very artfully and to the betterment of the region. We've realized tremendous success, you know, with his approach. 
Turner is active in his community in places like San Francisco's African American Art and Culture Complex. Turner says only five of every 100 college graduates in the areas of science, technology, engineering, and math are African Americans. Program manager Tamika Chenier says General Turner provides an example for area youth. There is an extreme need uh, for our young people to learn science, um, technology, and engineering. So STEM is crucial, I feel, in our communities. We're an arts facility, but we would love to incorporate the arts with STEM, and just so blessed that the general is able to do so. General Turner and his wife, Marsha, have three children. Erica is a captain in the Air Force and is an optometrist. Eric is an electrical engineer. And the youngest, Aaron, is a senior in college. Turner says his own career will not be complete until he has the opportunity to do something he's dreamed of his whole life. Oh, well, I won't be successful in life in time a high school math teacher. I mean, have an opportunity to inspire uh, America's youth. I mean, that, that was my original dream. So, you know, that dream is not lost, it's just delayed. General Turner, I want to offer you my sincere congratulations. You're just a tremendous friend and a colleague, and I cannot imagine a general officer who's more deserving. Um, again, congratulations. Um, enjoy the moment. You, it's very well deserved. So Dave, I know we've been working together for about seven years, uh, from Korea to Washington to San Francisco, and it's been my uh, honor and privilege to serve with you in each of those duty stations. And I've learned so much from you, and you are a role model not only for our uniform leadership, our enlisted guys across the Army, but also the civilians in the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Congratulations to you and Marsha. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome 2014 UCM Distinguished Alumni Award winner, Brigadier General C. David Turner.